From the one and only, this is a Local 10 News Update, sponsored by Wellmax Medical Centers. Good afternoon, South Florida. I'm Andrew Perez. And I'm Alex Finney. Here's a look at your top stories today. Taking a look here, we're keeping a very close eye on a breaking news situation out of Pompano Beach. That's where a body was found outside of a beauty salon. Police making the deadly discovery in the early morning hours at Northeast 48th Street and Dixie Highway. We were there as deputies blocked off the area with a white sheet as they investigated. It's unclear how the person died at this point. The incident is still ongoing. A 15 year old boy being charged as an adult after police say he raped a woman in Hollywood. This incident happened last month near South Park Road. That's where police say Terry Berger Smith assaulted the victim while she was walking to work. Arrest forms state the teen had been watching her for some time. Smith is also accused of raping a woman in New York when he was just 12 years old. He's charged with four counts of sexual battery and one count of kidnapping. Early voting for the Florida primary elections begins today in Broward County. Now through next Sunday, polls will be open to voters across the county looking to cast their ballot ahead of the August 23rd election. Early voting in Miami-Dade started earlier this month. Officials are advising voters to check their voting sample ballots online to avoid any confusion before heading to the polls. For more information on how to cast your vote, head to local10.com for a complete guide. Also, a teenager was killed and another hurt when a family dispute ends in gunfire. The mother of 18-year-old Jairo Lara Garcia says she arranged for her son to pick up money from his stepfather Thursday night in southwest Miami-Dade. Police say that's when an argument broke out. Things quickly escalated to gunfire. Heidel was shot and killed while his 17-year-old girlfriend is now hospitalized and stable. Remember, as breaking news happens, we've got you covered on air and online. Head to local10.com for more local news coverage and updates.